Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jin, and today I'm going to have another science read aloud. And the read aloud for today is This Little Scientist. So let's begin. Asking why, then making a guess. Asking how, then proving with tests. Little scientists make great big discoveries. That's very true. Um, we know a lot of things about the earth because of these little scientists. And I'm sure most of the people here you will know. Anyway, let's move on. Isaac Newton. This little scientist said we walk on the ground because gravity stops us from floating around. That's right. The earth has a force called gravity that pulls us to the earth so that we don't just fly everywhere. Anyway, let's move on. Isaac Newton also found a rainbow of colors called a spectrum inside a beam of light and figured out three rules for how objects move. Yes, so thanks to Isaac Newton, we found out a rainbow forms because of light and water mixed together. So anyway, let's move on. Maria Sibylla Marion. This little scientist paints bugs everywhere, laying eggs, eating leaves, even flying mid-air. Maria Siliba Marion's paintings explain such things as how caterpillars turn into butterflies to a change called metamorphosis. So because of her, we know a lot about the life cycles of many insects. Anyway, let's move on. Marie Curie. This little scientist did experiments to show that atomic energy made uranium ox glow. Marie Curie studied invisible atoms that give off energy particles she named radioactivity. She was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in chemistry and physics. That's so great! This girl was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes. That's awesome! Anyway, let's move on. Albert Einstein. This little scientist had wild white hair. He was famous for writing E equals MC square. Albert Einstein's equation means that energy and mass are the same thing in different forms. He said nothing can go faster than the speed of light. 186,282 miles a second. That's so fast. I wish I could go faster than the speed of light. I, Albert Einstein said that that wasn't possible. So anyway, let's move on. Grace Hopper. This little scientist wrote code that was new to tell computers in words what we want them to do. Grace Hopper programmed computers in words instead of numbers. She popularized the term computer bug when a mod flew inside her computer and broke it. That's a very good uh, idea, Grace Hopper. Thank you for helping us do what we want to do with the computer without doing a lot of lot of hard work anyway let's move on katrine johnson this little scientist got the math right to help nasa astronauts launch outer space flight katrine johnson solved hard math problems on paper before trusted computers were available so space heroes like john glean can safely orbit the earth that's so cool we owe you one katrine johnson Anyway, let's move on. Jane Goddall. This little scientist studied chimpanzees and made friends with them among Africa's trees. Cool. I love chimpanzees. They're so cool. Jane Goddall discovered that chips hug their friends to make tools like spoons out of sticks. Before this, people thought only humans made tools. Well, that's false. Chimpanzees also did. That's so cool. Anyway, let's move on. Solon Wu. This little scientist has a brilliant spark. She helped find particles called Gulan and Charm Quirk. Solon Wu studies particles, the smallest building blocks of our universe, and atoms, protons, and neutrons are made of quirks stuck together by gluons. That's so cool. She's very brilliant. Like, all the scientists are very br brilliant. Anyway, let's move on. Stephen Hawkins. This little scientist studied outer space surprises, like mysterious black holes that form in many sizes. That's awesome. I always wanted to study about um, black holes. Thanks to Stephen Hawkins, I can study about them. Thanks a lot. Stephen Hawkins made big news by explaining how some particles might explain escape black holes which have gravity so strong that uh, that everything nearby falls into them 
no one really knows what happens when you're inside a black hole. So let's just move on. Now, DeGrace Tyson. This little scientist helped us understand how our universe works and how it began. Neil DeGrace Tyson visited the Hayden Planetarium as a boy and got excited about stars and planets. I also love stars and planets. They're one of my favorite things in science. He grew up to be the director of the planetarium. That's so cool. So wishes do come true, not all like the one in which you can go faster than the speed of light. Anyway, that's so cool. Quirks, robots, or DNA, what would you discover someday? That's so lost. Those are super awesome ideas. I really want to be a scientist when I grow up. And there are millions and zillions of scientists in the whole wide world. And one day, even you can be one too. So that's an awesome book and so this is a very great uh, story. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification bu uh, button. And, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.